It's a big weekend along the North Shore as the John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon returns. The 300-mile trek kicks off tomorrow morning in Duluth. It draws in hundreds of mushers and thousands of spectators from across the nation. We caught up with Bear Grease competitor Colleen Wallen, who is ready to fend off the Minnesota cold and rugged terrain. Everest butterflies have definitely set in, um, which is completely normal until we pull our snow hooks and we're headed down the trail. Uh, we did our last 25 mile run last night, training run, um, dialed in our teams and uh, now we're just going to rest and uh, get ready for Sunday. We wish the best of luck to Colleen and all of the racers. The marathon goes from Duluth to Grand Portage. Our photojournalist Ben Harper is headed north to cover this race for us starting tomorrow night. If racing in the cold is not your thing, how about a swim? Close to 100 people spent the day under the ice on White Bear Lake while attempting to make history in the process. The cold didn't stop them in the slightest. WCCO's Adam Duxter takes us below the surface to what's become a bucket list event for people around the globe. If you're willing, you're challenging yourself and also taking your gear to the limits. To be one of the few who takes the plunge. Well, everybody's got a frequency, right? And ours happens to go with going underwater. It turns out the payoff is worth freezing for. Kind of, can you see like snow, but it's like up over your head. And you can see that basically the floor on the bottom of stuff down there too. Michael Kieran of South Dakota and Brian Adams of Arkansas are two of 100 taking part in the North American Ice Diving Festival. Midwest School of Diving helps organize. Totally serene, um, isolated, and uh, just beautiful. Overall, it wasn't bad. It definitely actually felt better down there than it did up here in the air. In just a few years' time, this one event has become a destination for people from all over the world. This year, people from more than half the United States are here, as well as regions like Africa and Sri Lanka. I think it's the sense of community. Everybody gets to try new things. Ramsey's Byron says this year they're going for a world record. Most people under the ice. People who who've never done any even cold water diving are coming up getting a cold water certification and trying something completely new for their, you know, their life experiences. It's a simple challenge. I did it. I can check it off the list. So, you know, it's People like to push them the envelope, so to speak, and this is one of those envelopes that they uh, get to check off the bucket list. Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. Simple for Dave, maybe not for me. Organizers say their mission is also focused on protecting the environments they dive in. Money raised during this year's event will help disabled veterans become dive certified.